Hello, Adam Matkor. I'm the Vice President of Truckload Pricing and Market Intelligence here at Bay of Bay. I grew up on the border of New Hope and Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Spent most of my life there and I haven't moved too far away. I now live in Maple Grove. I'm a Minnesota person through and through, so I have not moved away for college or at any point throughout my adulthood. A lot of people mistakenly assume that I went to the University of Miami just because I'm such a big fan. However, I went to the University of St. Thomas here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Well, when I first started in the industry, it was very unheard of, as you could well imagine and I was referred here by somebody I worked with previously. I had no idea what I was walking into, but I really just enjoyed the atmosphere. It just felt very lively, a lot of teamwork taking place, and I really enjoyed the energy in the room. That's what attracted me to it, and that's what got me started. 26 years, if you can believe that. First role was, call it an account manager. Uh, I was very customer facing, dealing with the customer part of the transaction. From there and throughout my career, I've held various roles, both on the customer side, the carrier side. I was lucky enough to move into some leadership roles, again, working on both sides of the aisle. Most recently, I've spent the last eight years involved with the truckload pricing. I would say it's the people, definitely. I've met a lot of great people over the years. I've been lucky enough to be here for a long time. I've been exposed to a lot of different things, and what I enjoy the most is definitely the culture. It's very fast paced, people work hard, very genuine and just ordinary people that you can have fun with while working hard at the same time. I was involved with the CSCMP, the local round table here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and recently been a part of the TIA Association. Relationships while we are in transportation, however, we are in the relationship business. I like to describe it. Our industry is very close-knit, and I think it's very easy to come close and build relationships with people because that's the kind of people that are attracted to this sort of work, and they tend to move around, and if, and if you're successful at building a relationship, those relationships typically last. People move around. They stay in the industry. There's sometimes at company A, but then the next day they're at company B, and I think through networking and building relationships and trust, it doesn't go to waste. I think relationships are the most important thing of what we do. And if you are able to honor those relationships and, and hold them to a high regard, I think that they travel with you throughout time. Going around the different parts of the company, meeting everybody, I think everybody's been very warm and welcoming. It's easy to send an email, for example, and, and say welcome. But I've noticed that people have made it a point to come by and, and talk to me in person. That's been very welcoming. I've enjoyed also learning the different parts of our company and the service offerings that we provide to our customers and our carriers. We are growing and we're expanding and we're investing in our future, which tells me that we have a very good business model and a very good offering to those that we work with and I'm very excited about. The way I would describe the family atmosphere and the culture here is that it is family owned and it actually feels like a family. I think we're a very close-knit group of people. I think we're able to sit in a room and collaborate and, and disagree and challenge one another. But at the end of the day, I think there's a, a lot of people that are willing to buy in and, and hear different perspectives and work together to, to solve common problems and work towards common goals. We're not too big and we're not too small. I think we're very right size. We, we offer a vast array of offerings and services. I think we're able to combine our people and our talent and our technology just to create some more opportunities to grow with customers. We're good enough where we're able to invest in technology and our people and we're large enough to do so and we have the financial stability to do so. And at the same time, when we work with customers and carriers, we're not too big where they kind of get lost in the crowd. I think customers and carriers appreciate the high level of detail, the high level of communication, and high level of trust and relationship that we're able to build because we are right sized. I think the culture allows you to be individual within an organization. They work very autonomously. They're able to come up with their own ideas. They have a voice and they're encouraged to present those ideas and solutions come up with better ways to both manage our relationships, execute our business, and, uh, and grow talent from within. I think over the last few years, our impact on the U.S. and probably more abroad is that people are realizing that supply chain is a very essential part of what we do. I think for us to have both assets and a logistics arm, I think we're able to leverage some of those strings and, and, and help kind of connect the dots on what's been missing within the supply chain the last several years. It's an essential part of the economy that's really come to light and I think very well recognized and, and something that's been long overdue. Well, I, I think you could probably look at me and guess all of the different exciting things I like to do, but I'll, I'll call some, some out specifically. 
I uh, like to go on leisurely bike rides, so nothing serious. Just uh, leisurely, where we're able to stop here and there for coffee or ice cream, whatever, whatever's on our way. My wife and I enjoy to go to live music concerts, and if they're outdoors, it's even better. We like to hop around different coffee shops, the ones that are kind of off the offbeat path, as well as I'm very picky about the chocolate that I eat, so those are probably my, my few interests that I would share with you. I am a big fan of college football and in particular the Miami Hurricanes. I was lucky enough to grow up in the 80s, which is the best decade to grow up in. For those of you that didn't experience, I can tell you firsthand, the 80s were best in terms of music, in terms of movies, uh, but then as a college football fan, you can't help but grow up in the 80s and not like the Miami Hurricanes, unless you lost them. Sorry, flying, of course. Uh, th this is kind of embarrassing, but I, I'm a total Star Wars geek. It's one of the first movies that I remember as a kid, and I, I've stuck with Star Wars my whole life, so I would go with the Star Wars. That's an obvious one. Pricing guy.